it's a little bit more adventure than I planned for. The van stalled. Managed to get it close to the gas station. Had some guys help me pull me out. I'm gonna see if it's just out of gas, but I think I'm afraid the fuel pump might be done pumping. So I broke down close to pretty far away from home, a whole like 12 miles, and the fuel pump went out. I made Cody hang out with me and guilt tripped him into it. Now he's all sad. Are we allowed to curse in this video? No, because he wants to be at home with his boo. The fuel pump went out on this bad boy, and Nikki's supposed to be bringing me a fuel pump, but she's taken 20 years to find a socket, which is my fault because I'm not terribly organized. And Cody's just miserable. You ever worked on a Volkswagen van before? Didn't you rebuild one of these in high school? No. I thought you said you did. No, I built an S10. That's terrible. That's a sh well, I built a Geo Tracker. That was also terrible. That was, that was fun. Oh. What did you do with a Geo Tracker? Jumped it off the hills. Oh, that's ridiculous. Just drove it off the side of cliffs and shit. So I got the van fired back up. I didn't record it. We took the fuel pump off and played with it. It's still pumping. Um, I think the gas was just so clear in the filter that I couldn't see it. I don't. I don't know. Um, so whatever I did didn't fix it, and I'm just praying that it gets me home. I'm starting to want to spit and sputter again. So before I take this thing out again, I'm gonna do everything, and yeah, maybe pull the car and rebuild it. I might have some trash in it. I don't know. So I'm just praying I make it home. So the van has made it to its happy home. It spit and sputtered a bit, but we made it. I want to flip you around. So that looks a little creepy. But anyways, I just gave a long spiel that apparently I didn't record. Basically, I got the van home. It's running pretty crappy. Um, which sucks. We got a car show like a week after next that I want to go to, but don't know if we're going to make it. And I got electronic ignition. I'm going to try to put it on. The points that I got were kind of old. Or, or used from a gentleman that has his spare points that he carried with him, which I didn't like a dummy. And but I'll put that new electronic condition in it, see if that might be something to do with it. But I really think I might have to pull apart that carb and rebuild it. But right now, I'm about to try to slime the back tire on the Jeep just to see if I can get it to work tomorrow and then go by and get some new tires after work. All of which, none of which is fun, and it's crazy busy week as it is. So, uh, sorry this video wasn't much about anything. Subscribe if you run across it and uh, I promise the other videos are at least a tiny bit better So probably did the dumbest thing ever, but Larry was trusting somehow and We could not for the life of us get this stupid tire plug tool to push in there I've done this a bunch of times when I was younger But I couldn't get it to stick and what we did was we got it in here And what'd you do Larry kind of hold it towards the ground? Yeah, I just had that black part down and out and I tried to hold it about like you are yeah and it wouldn't work without I put my hand down on that black part yeah and made it dig in the ground yeah it went in so we pretty well just used the weight of the jeep to push the plug in now we're gonna pump it back up it, it's holding so well, we put slime in it first now it's holding all right but i found the nail which i was like man in my luck it's just gonna be leaking out in the morning i ain't i'm gonna be running late so somebody a buddy of mine gave me this plug kit and now i'm just ready for bed I need a shower because I'm covered in gas for working on the van earlier. <laughs> so and I'm hungry as heck. But we're going to pump this bad boy up with this super cheap slime pump and call it an evening. 